What's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing good. My core has finished upgrading to level 13 and after getting some tips from some other players, my I've redesigned my network here and it has been working exactly how I wanted it to. Now I just need to focus on upgrading my defenses, buffing up my code gates because they're really low and that's about it. I want to get my other sentry up uh, upgraded more so it can tank for a longer amount of time but we're gonna focus on the AI for this episode since they're new and very important to my network as it is right now we got six million we need eight million for the Hawk so let's get started here one million off the start and there's only two code gates that we need to worry about and a lot of resources in his storages so we'll definitely have to focus those and I do not have my programs yikes wait a second could I actually get this first code gate with my squid we're gonna give it a try since there isn't a lot of other code gates after it I don't think there's a big risk just using our squid here let's see where it'll go yes it goes right for that first code gate and it gets it Ooh, the squid <laughs> it's been a long time since I've used that I don't actually think I'll revive it again though just because you know it's only level 2 so there's not a lot of applications for it yet yeah I just misclicked there and put a battering ram on there you probably all think it's a pro play no, that was just an accident. Let's get through here. The beetle is out. Now we need our battering rams. That comp that uh, program library can tank his sentry a little bit, so I'm not too worried. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, maybe it is a problem. Ooh, close. It's all good though. We'll get through it. And that sentry can tank a lot, so I, that's why I use the shocker there. And the rest should be easy. You can just break through here. Sometimes I'll just use the shocker on these uh, end parts of their network. We'll just go with the, the ice walls. It seems to be sufficient yep gets the job done there we go and we're gonna close out the rest of these nodes get that extra rep wow I only have three beam cannons left I didn't even realize I went through that many goes fast another 1 million in the bank where does that put us exactly 7.7 .7. so we're only 300 K off Wow so close that's okay though we gotta leave ourselves with a little bit of extra money for new searches. A level 59 with almost a million. He does have plenty to get us our hawk upgrading though. So, let's break down through these first code gates, get them out of the way, and then we'll be good. Ooh, I kinda forgot about, or not forgot about, just wasn't paying attention to that squid. Could've actually screwed me there. But, good thing it's RNG based. And... Battering Rams for that. Actually... Mm, no, we won't get through that century in time. Bit unfortunate. Not a big deal either. Scanner's not a super high level. Did I get that ice wall in time? I did. I'm gonna leave. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Whoops. I accidentally meant to put down an extra ice wall. Instead, we have two protectors. What level is a sentry? Okay, so it's just a, like a level eight, 18 or something. Can they break through my protector? Oh, nearly, nearly. So. Wasn't a complete waste, I suppose. No, not the battering ram, thank you. Would like 
the shocker, please. And we are good. And see, in this situation, I would actually like to use the worm because at this point, I'm just cleaning up. And it would save me a lot of B-coins just to set down a worm and let it loose. I did not bring it along. I think I got it up to level 11 at though. Um, so as I uh, continue to upgrade my shurikens, I think I'll upgrade my worm afterwards just to do this cleanup at the end of some people's networks where their uh, sentry did not get to. I think that would save us a lot. Another thing I wanted to upgrade besides my AI nodes is my one of my uh, the shurikens again. Since we have so many B coins, it'll cost 180k to go to level 16, which will only put us five levels away from level 21. That'd be really nice to max that out as well. After checking on the wiki, I noticed that the hawk will actually do like a massive amount of damage per second at level 21 I think it's I mean it sounds crazy but I think it it's like up in the 400 400 maybe just the strength is 400 I'd have to check again but the DPS on the Hawk is insane at those high levels so it's definitely worth upgrading and I would highly suggest focusing on the Hawk after you get your century done we got Leviathan with 64,000 B coins. Now, unfortunately, my he has all four of his guardians connected to his core, so my blasters would not be able to break through his core in a manageable amount of time to uh, get me to his resources so I'm gonna have to leave that for now even though if my blasters were high enough level uh, breaking through that going to his guardian and through his code gate there I could put shurikens on that and then get into all his resources there so I don't think it would be too tough, but his stuff is just at such a high level that my blasters cannot break through it. So we are going to go to Rick, a level 70 with a million dollars and 30,000 coins. Oh, well, we can't. Yes, that's right, because his guardians and he has a high level beetle. Well, it's got a few levels on it, it looks like. So I'm going to have to skip this one as well because my blasters are not high enough level to break through those shields and that repair. So we will uh, go find someone else. How about this guy? Yes. This is a very interesting network. He's got his uh, black ice choke points there. Let's see, and his guardian's upgrading. So that would make it everything easier, hopefully. Let's give it a try once. I'm hoping to be able to take down at least these first two code gates. Yes, we are good. My stealth programs are so low, but just high enough to get the job done. Ooh, okay, so I was pretty sure that my ice wall would have, have installed there. And I'm not really sure what I want to do here. Blaster or beam cannons? I'll just go ahead with the blaster. I have finally got it upgraded to level 11 at least. Oh, I think it's good. No? Yeah, it's good. Those are some high level turrets for sure. Let's get that uh, going right here. And 
We'll break through his core. Oh, wow, it took it back. Oh no. Rip. That's a huge loss of time, unfortunately. Just had to wait that one out. Let's see. No. Yeah, his, uh... Black Ice is targeted first. And one of his guardians was upgrading. So that really helped. And then we can break through these. We got 50 seconds left. Um, it might actually be really close. We do have plenty of uh, data threads. We should be okay there. Play it safe. Try to get these B coins. I think he has a lot, yeah. We will throw on the data leeches. 20 seconds left. That should be good. I'm just focused on getting these B coins. There we go. Not too bad. Made a little mistake there. I thought we were screwed. But we were able to make that comeback and get those resources because of the data leeches, which I also need to get around to upgrading. But there's so many other things that need upgrading. <laughs> All right, nine, 195,000 get those going to level 16. They've been helping me out so much lately through these through uh, networks choke points and we want to upgrade the beetle now which costs 2.5 million. Not bad. While I was testing out different network designs after I up finished upgrading my core to level 13, I was hoping that I could get away with having just two code gates at the start. Um but after some people have hacked me, I've learned very quickly that the antivirus cannot get ahead fast enough um, without uh, being lost so or being cut off, which is why I'm really glad to have more people hacking me so I can learn these weaknesses. And which is another reason why I've been re increasing my reputation. So other than that though, it's been working out really well. So this is when I changed up my design and added the third code gate up in the front. Um, it stalls a lot longer and allows the antivirus to get to the rest of the network like I want. And this player made it actually a really interesting hack because they used five level 10 krakens which i never see anymore so it was really interesting to see how it played out um i definitely don't think he needed a battering ram for that code gate level 63 and something i learned that was really interesting about the kraken is that as soon as the antivirus takes back the node the kraken is already there at its doorstep so it takes it back instantly just as fast as it it loses it um, so if you're a player that can use that to your advantage you can really get through a network really fast uh, with the kraken since it just takes that node back just as fast as uh, the antivirus does Look at that, that's really interesting. And good to keep in mind, if you're ever using the Kraken, because you can really use that speed to your advantage. So here's a network that doesn't have any code gates at the beginning of it. And I find that really interesting because I've you don't ever really see it. And I'm gonna show you why you don't want to connect your, uh, Two of your code gates to one node it um, it really just helps the the person who's hacking to get through your network a lot faster 
Man, my beam cannon there was very slow. And his squid was really doing basically nothing. So let's get through that. Oh, his hawk came flying in. Looks only like level 3 or so. I don't think it'll be much of a problem. Nah, not really. Not too much to worry about there. And I'm just going to put a protector on here. So, what I can do basically is use just two battering rams. Or one, if your battering ram is high enough level, to get through uh, two code gates. It's really not a good strategy to use one node and put two code gates on it. I've thought about doing that before, but it's just not a good use um, because you want to slow down your hackers. And that does the opposite. It saves them B-coins and helps them get through it faster. Alright, let's just quickly clean this up. And then we'll head on back. Aww. Hoping I wouldn't need another ice wall there. I guess I did. Yeah, black eyes just do not have a lot of health. Yikes. So, that's kind of why my thinking about those double code gates is just not a good strategy to be using. Am I out of beam cannons? Wow. But, um, everything worked out in the end. His sentry was way in the back of his network so we didn't have to worry about that at the start i think he only has one yeah kind of a a, uh, a farming network type of deal let's see we got plus seven so he does have uh, his rep is kind of high usually i only get plus three even though i'm only at 900. this will be a good example of how the shurikens will come into play here, and honestly, a level 1 shuriken would be plenty since that scanner is only level 1. If you think about it, you really don't need much to get through that level 1 scanner with your shuriken. I'm going to try for that second code gate, and we got it. Typically, I always get 2 with these uh, stealth program levels. Which is really nice that I don't have to upgrade them right now. I know I will in the future, but there's other stuff I want to get done first. Antivirus is not there yet. He does have two sentries at the same level. So we don't really have any chance of being able to cut it off. Let's uh, see how much damage that does. Oh yeah, a lot of damage coming in there. I don't know where his hawk is. Okay, so it's over by his core. And I was waiting there to use another shocker. Because I know there's a lot of damage coming in on that protector. Let's just get through these defenses here. Sentry's gonna tank quite a bit. I am gonna shock her again. And just spam it the rest of the way home. I don't really see any other more efficient way to do it. I think that's just uh because uh, if you lay down an ice wall, you're not going to go through them as fast. And then you're going to fly through ice walls more than one since you only have two beam cannons on there. So I've always found that it's just better to uh, use a shocker, throw down three beam cannons, and it gets the job done. Just like that. Alright, let's head on back here. And we will get our 
beetle upgraded to do more healing. So it's going to be healing at 33 now. Just a little bit of difference. Um, as you get to those higher levels, the gap between each level becomes bigger and bigger. So that is why the levels, getting up to those higher levels, makes such a big difference. Last episode, you all let me know that you wanted a schedule. And I actually uploaded last Tuesday. I'm uploading again Tuesday. So it works best for my schedule to continue uploading every Tuesday. And I'm going to stick to that. Anything else in between will just be extra. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And I will see you all next time.